Sounding the horns and blowing the trumpets, the Watchman Radio Program. This program is all about the end times and it is to open your awareness to the times that we are living in and to make you aware of the nearness of the soon and the imminent coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Greetings again and welcome back to the Watchman Radio Program. The topic for today's program is Social Media is a weapon. Social media is a weapon. I want to start with a passage of scripture from the book of uh, John chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 and it reads in the beginning the word already existed. The word was with God and the word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him and nothing was created except through him. Now I want us to focus and uh, keep uh, this verse in mind, the very last verse that I read, verse 3. I read it again. It says, God created everything through him, through Jesus Christ. And nothing was created except through him. Why I want us to focus on this verse because there is a myth or a general belief that social media is evil. It is an evil thing and Christians should stay away from it because the devil created it the devil made social media and that is a lie I, I'm, I'm here to tell you to bring you this word from the Lord to let you know that such a saying is a lie because the devil himself is not a creator he is himself a created being and he cannot create anything he cannot make anything the Bible just told us, as we have just read, that God, he, has, he is the creator. He created everything. And he created everything uh, through Jesus Christ for the good of mankind. Now, what the devil has done is that he has used those things that God has created for mankind for bad. He has stamped his evil all over certain things such as uh, such as social media and so a lot of Christians are afraid to go on social media because of the evil because of how he has uh, he has taken over social media in that sense but the Bible is clear that he the devil he cannot create anything and God is the one who creates everything yes he gives us the knowledge the wisdom to come up with these ideas but again it is all from him and it just depends on how we use them for example a gun is a weapon a sword is a weapon but it can it can be, be used for good or it can be used for bad depending on whose hands it ends up in a normal kitchen knife it was not made as a weapon it, it is not to be used as a weapon it is to be used to to cut the cut your bread uh, cut your meat or whatever uh, you need to cut in the kitchen but that same knife if it ends up into uh, the hands of a criminal it can be uh, it will turn into a weapon and it can be used to, to destroy, to take lives, to cause harm uh, to others. And so it all depends on how these things are being used. It is the same with social media. We can use it for good. We can use it for the good of all. So this saying that uh, social media is for the devil or it was created by the devil, uh, remember that it is not so. It is definitely a lie from the pit of hell. A lie 
to, uh, to keep Christians away from it, to keep Christians away from using it. God is the one who created everything. Jesus was with him. The devil nor any other angel was with God uh, in the creation pro process. God alone was there with Jesus Christ, with the Word and the Holy Spirit. Those three are the only persons involved in creation. However, all that God has created, uh, all that He has inspired uh, through us, um, the ideas that we have uh, come up with uh, for Facebook, for Twitter, for all these uh, different social medias that we have, they are free, freely accessible by all, whether good or bad, evil or good. And so all these things, all of creation, uh, God has given free access to all concerned. So we can clearly say that social media is not a devil's tool but is a tool that is being used by the devil it does not belong to him he has no control over it but it is something that he uses it is just something that he uses why why don't we as well as Christians use it for the good God intended it to be used for. We as Christians, we can use these tools. We can use social media for the good of God, for the building of the kingdom of God, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. We can use these platforms that God has given us for good. Now, evil has taken over. It is more evil than good, yes. Everything that we see in there, we see naked uh, uh, pictures, we see profanity, we, we, we see all sorts, all manners of evil being, being posted, being, being shared on these social media sites. So why don't we as well saturate these medias with the word of God saturate the media with, with scripture verses with uh, with good uh, verse with good sayings from 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 God with encouragement why don't we turn the ties around and just as much as Eva is pouring in let us double it double our efforts and pour in more good and overpower the enemy through these means. Satan absolutely loves it when a Christian say, oh, I'm not, I'm not going on social media. Why? Because when we say that, we strip ourselves of the power to share, of the power to reach the masses. I mean, we can stand up in front of a church and we can talk to a number of people uh, possibly a couple hundred depending on how big the church is some churches are very small and so when we minister we can only minister to maybe up to 50 to 100 persons at a time but on social media if you were to do the same thing to share the word to to preach a word you can reach millions you can reach everyone in this entire world that has access to internet that has access to the social media site that you're posting on we have to realize that the, the power that is in this we see the power that that, that uh, evil has uh, has shown it has through these social media sites how people minds are being changed how the world itself has changed because of social media we too can effect that uh, effect change through this media if we use it for the good of the glory of god we can effect change just like evil is effecting change through it in fact jesus, this is one of the things that jesus told us that we would do even greater than he could have done 
back in his time you have to realize of course when Jesus was on earth in, 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 in human form he, he was limited by the limitation of, 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 of flesh and back in that time they did not have the resources that we have today they did not have internet they could not reach as many people as we could reach today so Jesus as he spoke he could only uh, 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 voices his words to a, a limited number of people at a time but we now having greater access to these things easy access and free access in most cases can reach a lot more than Jesus could have reached in one message in fact we can preach a, preach a message today and it can be heard again tomorrow and the other day and next week and next year and 10 years from now someone can come and hear that same message the same way it was delivered so these are greater things we are doing than Jesus could have done back in his time the scripture uh, reference for that is, is, the, is from the book of John chapter 14 verse 12 where he says I tell you the truth anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father so Jesus is saying here just as I've just said that we here we can do greater things we are going to do greater things we can do greater things if we want to and this is one of the ways that he has provided for us to do this through social media we ourselves here we use social media very much my church we use it we we, we, we are glad for the platform to enable us to to send out the, the word of God to send out our messages because we deliver messages that are, are very really uh, 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 preach from the pulpits nowadays the kind of words we, we, we receive from the Lord and we give to our congregation many pastors nowadays they are afraid to touch them because they don't want to lose people they don't want to lose their congregation so they want to just tell them what they want to hear but we preach what people need to hear and so we are glad for this opportunity and this platform to share the unadulterated word of God through Facebook through Twitter uh, through Tumblr any social media we can get our hands our hands to uh, YouTube we will share the word of God because we know the power in this so not only our words are confined uh, to, to the four walls that we deliver them under but they can now reach the entire globe we can preach a message today and the entire world will have access to it immediately this is the power we have through social media and we need to recognize it and to use it don't be afraid don't allow the enemy to to keep you away or saying if you go there you're going to be tempted to sin yes there are many temptations but we have to rise above that we have to know that we can we can go on social media and stay away from the, the things that will tempt us we don't have to be dabbling in the things that the world dabbles in we don't have to go on social media to talk people business we don't have to go on social media to look friends we can go on social media for the sole purpose of sharing the word of God of trying to encourage someone in the Lord of ministering to some lost soul if we use it for the right purpose God will protect us God will watch over us don't allow the enemy to keep you away from social media any longer you just stay away from what you need to stay away but you can go you can post your scriptures you can record your messages and, and post them encourage someone with a word encourage someone with a prayer whatever you can do share it on social media 
share it because it can go far and wide it will reach people that you do not know reach people that you have never seen reach people that need to hear that particular word at that particular time and the good thing about these some of these sites the, the, the information is being held there as you post them they don't just disappear they stay there so days and weeks and years after people can go back there and, and get that same word get that same message it is a powerful tool social media is a weapon it is a good weapon we can use against the enemy so let us take up that weapon of warfare of social media that weapon and use it for the building of the kingdom of God uses use it against the enemy the enemy has been using it against us and we have been taking our blows it is time to stop in our track and to open our eyes to the reality that this weapon is also our weapon that we can also use against him so let us use back this weapon let us use social media against the enemy let us use social media to win souls let us use social media to minister the word of God we can reach the world through social media let us do it don't be afraid anymore to log in post what you need to post log back out you don't need to stay on there go and do what you have to do and go on with your business so social media is a weapon is a weapon we as Christians can use against the enemy let us use it with that I'll come to the end of this program if you'd like to contact me for any reason for any further clarification or whatever you can find me on Facebook social media again search for Curtis Minister Roach or Minister Curtis Roach those are my two profiles I also have a page for this program under the name The Watchman Radio Program. Leave me a message and I respond back to you at my very earliest convenience. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see the link at the bottom right of your screen. If you just click on it, it'll take you to the, uh, the subscription page. That way you will never miss uh, another upload. There are hundreds of videos, over 900 at the time of this recording that will help you give you all the information that you need in your Christian walk and help you and lead you to uh, to Christ you can also follow me on Twitter at Roach underscore Curtis again I just want to thank you for joining me today for listening and I just want to encourage you again please share these videos you have uh, already have your social media sites your accounts please share them on your social media sites uh, if you if you're happening to watch this and you're not into social media I would strongly encourage you to get into it it is a powerful tool that God has made available for us the enemy has been using it yes but we can also use it so let us spread the word of God far and wide to the four corners of the world through social media. Again, thank you for watching and God wish you bless you. I'll see you next time, if there is a next time. Bye-bye.